I feel uh, entrepreneurs are really um, the, I mean, this is this is um, a statement may, maybe that has been heard before, but I really feel that they are the ones who can bring the change today. Um, and I would, f I feel that uh, they are at the position today where they can learn from the mistakes that our generation has, has made, but also gain from the experiences of, of what we have done. Uh, but I do have a, a little message <laughs> that I would love for them to put into place, and this is that technology has been great. It's advanced our world, but I would love it if they could bring in some more human touch into the X and Y generation. Um, because it, it's great to advance, but I think it's uh, the one drawback, I think, has been just that we, we need to keep the human touch alive. And I think they would be the right ones to be able to do this. Um, and to, for me, uh, they, they inspire me, actually, uh, to even do better. And I feel like I learn more from my team members and from the generation that's just coming up because it, it sort of helps you to, to um, change your methods. The grassroots are the same, but you learn new methods with the new business entrepreneurs coming in. Uh, so yes, I, I totally and truly believe that um, you know they are the future and they're the ones who are going to be the ones who are going to frame this planet. I think my first inspiration, to be very honest, uh, our group and our family, my father, I mean, he's spoken at the UN before. Um, I've had a lot of interactions uh, because of him. He's the chairman of our group. But what actually inspired me was uh, when I took on the, the role of uh, being a chairperson of Hinduja Foundation US, and I was invited to a few events. And when I first heard the Secretary General speak, and he actually, um, you know, he, he, made, he made me want to come forward uh, when he said that, you know, he would love to have the private sector participate. And it was very um, inviting, uh, the words that he used in that speech. And I felt great. You know, this, this is somebody who really knows that he wants to bring the world together, not just countries, but the sector, the business sector, the private sector, which plays such a big role. In the you know in the world economy, um, I just have one little request uh, for the UN, for the member states, for the private sector. I think great work can be done, and I'm totally for it. But I think we all need to learn to speak a common language. Uh, through my personal experiences, because I have been invited for a few events over here in for poverty, Forbes 400. I've been dealing very closely with you know, the UN Foundation. And I feel uh, as a private sector member, but also somebody who runs in my own private foundation, that the one thing that is slowing down this process of collaboration is the language. Uh, and I think we all need to learn to speak a, a common language um, to solve these problems that we're all facing. And they're all common. Um, so it's not like the business sector is facing any different to what the UN is facing, or the member states are facing. And, and I would love it if uh, we could all join hands and not duplicate or waste resources. And all this can happen, uh, but I feel the only thing that's a barrier here is um, not having those red tapes. <laughs> yeah, female birthright. That's a, that's a goal that is very, very close. Uh, to my heart, and, and poverty. Um, I've grown up with the principles of my grandfather, who was the founder of our group, uh, is that you know you work to give. And I think um, I admire him for that, because he was doing a philanthropic capitalism uh, in, you know, in the days where, uh, where he did not need to speak what he was doing. But he believed in what he did, and, and he, he, he sort of did it through his actions. So. These are the two things that are very, very close to me. And one of the reasons that I've decided uh, not to go on and take a spiritual path in my life is to, to be able to make this a better place 
uh, for people like my daughter, my nieces, you know, a lot of other females uh, who have to go through issues which I have done through personally in my life. And uh, I ho I'm hoping, because to me, the minute you're born as a human, you are already taking on responsibility. I mean, you can only be fed by your mother up to a certain age. So you're already responsible for yourself the minute you, you're born. And the other responsibility comes with your role and who you're born as or where you're born or which family into. So it's really up to each and every one of us to want to empower ourselves to take on responsibility for that role. And we have a choice. So either you do that, or you can do something which um, maybe not have, it may not have that impact, uh, but you just go on. But I, I've taken a decision that I would like to bring justice uh, to that responsibility that's come on me just by being who I am because of where I was born or who I was born as. Uh, and I think as a parent, um, it's my actions that speak. Uh, so, you know, every step you take, every word you speak, every movement that you make, it's not just your children, it's everybody learning. And we, each one of us is teaching each other. And it's a, it, it, to me, the, the world and what we're all trying to achieve is one big puzzle. And we are all these little pieces of puzzles that come together. So none of us can, you know, survive without each other.